Hey, it's April and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about your walk away power, taking your power back. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the walk away power of being able to just decide I don't want to be a part of this anymore. And what I mean by that is I've heard a lot of people share that that drama follows them or they always tend to kind of attract these certain kinds of people and it just gets them into a heap of trouble. <laughs> and I've spent a lot of time with people who wind up wasting a lot of their own time and energy fighting with people they don't really care to move forward with. They don't really care to come to a resolution together. They're just engaging in this back and forth energy suck time suck of nothingness. One of the things my husband always talks about is your walk away power. And what I mean by that is that at any point you can decide, I don't want to play this game anymore. And you can walk away. It's only when you're engaging in that silliness that you're going to keep having this festering, kind of throwing fuel on the fire. And you don't have to do that. No one is making you engage in that. One of the hardest things I've ever had to do is bite my tongue when I really just want to air somebody out or <coughs> point out all the things that they've done or said and violated this person and that person. And if you just hold that and don't even give it any more attention, it, it hurts the other person so badly. And not that you want to inflict pain onto that other person, but you want to remove yourself from that situation because you don't want to be a part of it anymore. But when you decide to use your walk away power and say, I'm not engaging in this, especially when you like, again, like I said, there's no resolution to it. You're just engaging in nothingness. It's just a bunch of back and forth and backbiting and, um, harming and hurting each other. If you use your walk away power to say, I'm not engaging in this anymore. And, um, I don't want to play this game anymore. And then you just literally walk away from it or figuratively walk away from it. Don't engage in it. Don't look in their social medias. Don't talk with friends about it. Just move on. You can absolutely do that. And so one of the things that I've done in the past in order to help me get through that, because your mind's going to still go and you're going to want to talk about it so badly. And there's a part of you that wants to hear what they're saying and, and what it is that they're continuing to stir up as well. Cut it out stop it. One of the things that I've done in my past is I just get a journal and I just write all my feelings out in that journal as if I was talking to a friend and I keep it safely there in that journal. All my frustrations, all the raw emotion, all the things I'm feeling right there. So the other thing is that my husband says is he says, how do you make something die? You starve it. So we call it in my home, we call it starving the beast. Starving the beast is exactly what I just said. It's where you don't engage in it anymore. You don't put any more fuel on the fire. You don't um, give any more of your energy to it. You just simply move on. I think we have it in our head that things have to be really hard and that we can't move on from things. You can absolutely move on. Have you ever had one of those situations where you just all of a sudden don't like you don't care anymore? You're not having to like make yourself believe that you don't care anymore. You absolutely just don't care anymore. You can do that anytime you want. Now, some of those feelings and thoughts and emotions are there. And yeah, you need to process those. Um, hence the journal. Time out. Somebody's knocking at the door. I'll be back. Man, my kids are ruthless sometimes. No, it's not my kids. I've got two kids. It's the little boy, the six-year-old little boy that is ruthless. Okay. But anyway, you don't have to engage. You don't have to um, give yourself to that anymore. You can absolutely decide I don't want to be a part of this and I'm going to walk away. Don't overcomplicate it. I think a lot of times we're overcomplicating places where we could absolutely use our power and just walk away. Think about how many times you're engaging in this like hamster wheel of drama. You don't have to do that. No one's making you do that. So yeah, process the emotion, get you a journal, but just shitty stuff that's harming you and hurting you and um, not contributing to your life and where you're going, it's time to stop feeding that beast. You are worth more than that. You are better than that. And you deserve more than that. And you're going to learn what you need to learn 
with or without that person in your life. And they're going to learn what they need to learn with or without you in their life. You're going to be on two separate journeys. And sometimes our lives bring us to a place where it's absolutely time to separate from certain people. And, um, there just comes a point where you just wake up, like you wake up to, I don't really think this person is for me the way I thought they were for me. Or I think this season has come to an end. And it's when we try to hold on to that, that we just get ourselves in a mess. So this is a call to you to take back your power, your walkaway power. I don't want to play this game anymore. Power. Um, to starve the beast and to get yourself a journal and document that stuff. Don't go and talk to other people about it. If you need to talk to somebody at first, one person, one trusted person at first, just to kind of, you know, soundboard. But after that, they don't want to hear it. You're exhausting yourself. You're exhausting them. The energy that's coming out by you keeping that drama alive. Yes. Ain't nobody got time for it. So get yourself a journal. I'm pointing down because there's a, a journal. Oh, there's a notebook down here. Get yourself a journal and just write your thoughts down and move on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to start a conversation, I'd love to chat with you in the comments. What are you dealing with right now that's got you struggling? This might be, instead of grabbing a journal, a good place to kind of let it out here. Put it in your comments, what you're dealing with, what you're struggling to walk away from, where you're struggling to find that power, and let's have a conversation about it. Or if you have tips and tricks that you've used to just get away from the game of silly shit, put your tips and tricks in the comments below. You might be able to help me out and others out. And it's just kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. Make it a good one. See you soon.